Good morning, Grade Fives. Now, before we get started, what I would like you to do is to cast your mind far, far in the future. And I'm not talking 20 years from now, or 10 years from now, or 5 years from now. I'm talking about 3 months from now. When the coronavirus is completely gone and we can finally go to the movies. Now, say for example, I don't know what movies are going to be out at that stage. We want to go to a movie. We want to go and watch a 2D movie versus a 3D movie. Obviously, we want to watch the 3D movie. Why? Because it's the one that is jumping out at us. Whereas if we compare it to a 2D movie, everything is flat. Like our 2D shapes, our polygons. Everything is flat. We've got our, long, our length and our breadth. Nothing else. Now this time, we're going to be looking at our length, our breadth and our height for our 3D shapes. But I know that you have done 3D shapes before. And just as a recap, I'm going to do a quick little video just to recap 3D shapes in our minds. example of our different 3D shapes that we know. <laughs> Sorry, it's quoted the song. Now, what we're going to be looking at are different aspects within our 3D shape. So if I had to take, for example, my tissue box, and we had to look at the different parts of our shape, we want to ask ourselves the following thing. What are the, how many faces does the shape have? And what shape are the faces? So if we had to look at my tissue box, we ask ourselves, what shape is this? It is a rectangular prism. Great. Now, we ask ourselves, how many faces does our rectangular prism have? We've got one, two, three. We have rectangles. But if we look at the sides, this side and this side, we are working with squares. The other thing we need to look at with our 3D shapes are what's called our edges. Our edges are when two faces are meeting. So, going back to our rectangular prism. Our rectangular prism, where two faces meet, where those two lines connect, or those two flat surfaces connect, that is what's called our edge. So, if we take our 3D shape, and look at how many edges it has. We've got, starting at the top, one, two, three, four, going down, five, six, seven, eight, and at the bottom, nine, ten, eleven, and at the back, twelve. The final thing we are going to need, going to be looking at, are our vertices. Now, our vertices. So firstly, we saw where edges met. Now we're going to be looking, or where our faces met. Now we're going to be looking at where our edges meet. So with our rectangular prism, our edges meet there and there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, at this point, what you can do is you are welcome to, sorry, let me that slide. You are going to need the following. Some toothpicks and some jelly tots. And with your toothpicks and your jelly tots, I would like you to build the following three shapes. A square-based pyramid, 
a cube and a triangular prism. Once you have completed that, you should end up with something that looks like this. A square base pyramid, a cube, and finally a triangular prism. Now for this, what we are going to be looking at are, firstly, how many sides does our shape have? So with our sides, we have one at the bottom, two, three, four, five for our square base pyramid. For our edges, we are going to count how many toothpicks was used to make it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, or oh, seven, eight. And finally for our vertices, how many jelly tots did we use in order to make the shape? One, two, three, four, five. Can do the same with our cube. How many faces does it have? We have one, two, three, four, five, and six at the bottom. How many toothpicks? Starting at the bottom. One, two, three, four, going up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And finally, our jelly tots, or as we like to call them, our vertices. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our final one that we're going to look at is our triangular prism. How many spaces does it have? Going all the way around, we've got one at the back, two, three at the bottom, along the sides, four and five. How many toothpicks did we use? Or edges do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Finally, our jelly tots or our vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six. Edges, our vertices. Finally, just to end off, what I would like you to do is to take the following shapes. And on your whiteboards, I would like you to tell me how many faces it has, so how many flat surfaces it has, how many edges it has, where two lines meet up or two faces meet up, and finally, how many vertices each shape has. Now, I know that these shapes are on our board, but you need to tell me how many there are, even the ones that you can't see. Okay, can go ahead and do that.